I don't think it came up here. Command of the moment. Command of the month before, before we had before we had the automatic machine. You ever put the Jeopardy music on this yet? Nope. Good. Please don't. You're welcome to <laughs> some some patches rejected. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, big cat. Our ender. S T Y. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, uh, you want to tackle it? I, I locked edge of the screen being tapped off. Used to use that all the time. Yeah. Anybody remember what cereal is like? Right, yeah. Hey, someone explain it to us. Anytime you had a cereal port. You had settings on a cereal port. Well, but it's not just a cereal port. Really, it's anything to do with... There's a thing in the Linux Unix kernel called the TermIO data structure that contains all kinds of things. Like the baud rate you're connected at if you're on a serial port, the uh, uh, whether echo is turned on or not, uh, all uh, yeah, whether you got flow control, whether you got eight bits parity, seven bits parity, whatever, uh, your how many columns wide your screen is, how many lines tall it is. Uh, I don't know. There's probably 70 different pieces of information in that structure. Sttty is the command you can use to to <coughs> see it and manipulate it. So if you want to, well, if you want to do something fun, change your baud rate. Right. <laughs> Mystery, right? Because you, know, you can change your baud rate and then nothing happens. But you can turn off echo. Just uh, I don't even remember all the all the minus all echo or whatever command line yeah. arguments. Um, uh, gosh, what else do you do? Yeah, do a man on say. There's really the interesting thing is do a do a, a man on uh, term I O because I think that. If you have the library, yeah, there you go. This is what it manipulates. So scroll down a bit. That was it. Uh, that's it. Yeah, it's probably an info. Oh, what you got to well, yeah, maybe. Or go look at the uh, termio.h uh, include file. It says that's term iOS. Term iOS. Try that. Ter man, term iOS. Yeah. yeah, that's some of the stuff. Speed, no, okay, but uh, quit this. Let's just run the command. Do a setting minus a. Setting minus a. That's uh, a handful of things. You can um, uh, on it every time. Every time uh, the the system spits out a new line, it can also send a carriage return if you if you're feeling like you want to go back to the uh, Windows DOS world. Uh, your flow control, you got IX on, IX off. Uh, Parity enabled or not? Parity on. Um, oh, the, your kill and and interrupt keys. You know, mm -hmm. uh, Control C is your interrupt. You can you can change that with the SETI command. Uh, your erase. Erase command. The kill. Uh, how many of you guys, when you start typing a command and you realize you just botched the command up, you just hit the backspace key a bunch of times? Yeah. Yep. Right. We just hit Control U. That's that's the kill command. So. So you type a whole bunch of stuff, you say, no, I don't want that line. Control U will, will uh, erase the whatever you type. So your erase command is the delete key? Uh, yeah. Instead yeah, but it also says what the backspace is. That's in there someplace. Control H is, is that backspace, but I thought the erase is. Well, that's nice. Um, I thought the erase was basically your backspace. No, there's there's uh, there's backspace that'll remove the character be prior to the one you're on, and there's erase that will remove the character you're on. Um, so I take it this command is not yeah, used. Yeah, Control Z that'll 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 suspend whatever process is currently running. That's job control. Control um, S. Uh, control S. Yeah, if you if you want to stop the streaming of the of the output to the screen. Anyway, it's That's all set. It, it, it's all managed in the term I.O. structure, and SETI is your command for getting at it. So I take it this command is not used anymore. Nobody really oh, is. Sure it is. You want to turn yeah. off Echo? Right? I mean, anything you type right now is going to get echoed to the screen. You can turn off Echo, and, and it'll uh, it'll stop echoing whatever you type. There's, there's other ways to do it now. Yeah. Uh, this is really, from back in the days, a serial, but it still works. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, to, to Unix, everything uh, everything looks like a file. First of all, yeah. you know, some oh, of these old interfaces. Well, serial printer well, too. I mean, if you yeah. had to set up a serial printer, yeah. Well, yeah. Up the your nice uh, switch with forty eight ports on it. Does it giving you yeah. problems? Yeah. You plug yeah. the damn yeah. thing in and ah, go serial. Make that. <laughs>
Somebody? Make it. Make Make a temporary five. <laughs> or directory. Or directory. <laughs> Will they go away when you log on? Um, I think the thing is that it's hard coded to know where temp is on your file system and places it in the right spot, randomizes the name for yeah. you. Yeah. You know, so you don't get conflicting. Yeah, and if, uh, if, if probably uh, right, is it probably right. Let's say you don't have slash temp or something. It's standard your, out is probably the name that it created. Right. So right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. I've yeah. seen somebody use like a Did pin it number. The file? It creates the, yeah, I think it creates the file. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you're in a shell script. You need to create a temporary file to hold something. But I, what I used to always do is just use the process ID. Uh, you know, and you yeah. create a file called uh, something. Uh, uh, what is the process ID? Dollar dollar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, so I, I create a file name and I send dollar dollar. But more recently, I've, I've gone to use the thing. I, I don't do so much in shell script anymore. Uh, uh, so does it guarantee that you don't have a conflict? Yeah, it'll yeah. do the best. Yeah, I, I don't know that it goes out and checks to make sure that, that the name that existed didn't already create. I suppose it should. It's not hard to check. But, uh, it gives you a better chance of, of creating a temporary file that somebody else is to use. How do you know the name of it? With the it the returns screen. the name. Yeah, yeah. It returns the yeah. name. Yes, yeah, so you can assign it to a, to a variable in your shell script. Yeah, so if you yeah. don't save yourself two keystrokes, right? <laughs> <laughs> the space is not alias. <laughs> Follow the growth of a log file. Oh, it is. No, somebody actually created a man page for it? Or similar, it? well, but it's similar. It does not access the file yeah, like when it is not growing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, but does not access the file when it is not, not growing? Okay. It's a oh, side effect. So it's not watching it continuously. It's cool. updating the... Oh, so it's just access time. That's fine. Uh, it's not constantly eating. So the file system flush does not occur throughout the... Let's start using it. Well, I guess, because you could have stuff watching a file. Tail follow. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's okay. something more powered. It's like a non-invasive tail dash F file. I have it use an M tail instead because it'll, uh, after like two or three seconds of, of no output, the next time it spits out output, it'll put a couple of blank lines in first. Oh, okay. Uh, which is really handy when you're looking at like a, an Apache config file or, or any system log. I'm sorry, what's it called? M tail. Well, is there anything that would like if it doesn't see any activity for a certain like specified time, it'll stop. It'll drop out. I don't know. Well, that's that's a bad time. What? It, 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 it just doesn't keep on running. It just doesn't keep pinging the file and, right. yeah. and, and, and affecting the access time on the file. Well. So you want to see if something has occurred, and if it hasn't, after like ten minutes, just drop out entirely, and there isn't anything that does it. No, like a timeout kind of. I can't thing. think of why I would ever want to do that. Well, so you send something and you want a response back, yeah. but the thing breaks, you don't want your process to sit there until, you know, the earth goes cold. Well, I, it's, it's for monitoring a file of some sort. Okay. Anyway. Uh, M-T-A-I-L. Is that something I can have to get over there? Uh, yeah. Alright, somebody, somebody tell us. List all the flags. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Change the process of the, the permissions yeah. in a file. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that M tail is actually the package you want to install is monkey tail. Uh, the other thing about M tail is you can do an M tail on multiple files. I was going to say, I thought there was a M tail was multiple files. Yeah, I, do multiple files. I just file do it on one. <laughs> okay, so if you give it one, it's just a no, no, wants to to change. Patch it. So who wants to tell us about change mod? Changes the permissions on a file. Change the permissions on a file. Yeah. Okay. Or directory or. Uh, we do it all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Say permission. Yeah. Yeah. Chmod yeah. zero seven five five. Or you can put a plus and a minus in the yeah. green right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Argue with Mike is a liar if you really want to be a I don't, For me, the only way I ever use it is with the octal numbers after it. I can yeah. never remember the the, I can't oh, either. the goofy syntax of uh, owner. The only owner thing is, you might it's I, whatever you learn I first. I do like that normally, but if I want to do a bunch of files and just add like group right, I'll have to do a T plus W in that case. Yeah, yeah, it's it's fine for that. I I, I don't get a lot of situations where I want to do it on a lot of files. Can have your attention please, the time is now 32 and the library will be closing in 28 minutes at 9 o'clock. Please be advised that all public computers will shut down at approximately 10 minutes before closing. <laughs> well now the computer yeah, shut correct. down. Now. Well the public computers. All public although. Yeah. We didn't say anything about that. One more. Yeah. One more or several more? One more. Uh, at least a few more. Z-Diff. What's the diff who cares? <laughs> Uh, I'm only going to guess uh, it's going to be a zip, zip file. file. Compressed file. Yeah. 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 Compressed zip. Yeah. Mm, okay. Compare compressed, compressed files. files. So you're going to the unzip zip first. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Woohoo. <laughs> 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 that wasn't too impressive. I didn't take long. That was lackluster. Oh, no, bang. <laughs> that was. Echo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, at some point well, now that we got that one out of the built in or the, S, uh, the user bin echo? That, that's the slash bin the echo. Bin echo, yeah. Echo is screen usually. So I like it when I'm debugging, right? Some, just one line of text there. Yeah. Something yeah. into a file. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is the line of text. So you can tell it not to do a, a trailing new line. Yeah. Uh, you can yeah. tell to interpolate backslash escapes. You can tell to disable interpolation of backslash escapes. <laughs> this is default, so why do you have any Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. use it to tell the progress of the shell, long shell script. Yeah. yeah. You know, like where you're at in the shell script as yeah. you go. Yeah, yeah. hard to give you just information. Yeah. You know, I've got scripts that are running for 10 minutes. <laughs> Come on, that's how we all debug shell scripts, right? Or you might run that. <laughs> yeah. we, we can combine this with um, the big temp file. file and, and you can use <laughs> echo or some piece yeah. of data in your script to a temp file to be able to get yeah. tracing yep. log yeah. of your stuff. Yeah. All right, one more. Okay. <laughs> I saw one command. I went true. Last bite. Last bite. That one I don't know. Let me pipe up to certain lines. I have no clue. Maybe it's like more pipe. Only you, you less it. You pipe it and then put it to less. Anyone? So you you Instead pipe more and, pipe and, and pipe. Impl yeah, you run less after a pipe. Preprocessor. Input preprocessor yeah. for less. See, there you go. This this manual page documents <laughs> briefly <laughs> the less pipe command. It was written for the Debian. Oh, okay. Less pipe less pipe programs. I was going to open up a tar file. Oh wow. Hmm. So yeah, it looks like it'll, it'll give less enough so that it doesn't sit there and wait. So if you do less on a you know two gigabyte file or something, <laughs> it won't have to sit there and wait for it. Play something reasonable for graphic files. Can we have a demo? <laughs> See? Is it like ASCII interpreter? Take my fight, man. Less fight. Take my. Are you kidding me? <laughs> nice. That's awesome! <laughs> <Is> that? <laughs> That's the PDF the file. That. Oh, it took the text out of the PDF? Yeah. yeah. Kind, of, kind of like strings? Yeah, only better. Yeah. Because it, it, it took it out in That's oh, awesome. Of you learn something every once in a while. Wow. <laughs> Someone suggests you do a, a graphic file, see if there's one. Let's see if we can find a graphic file. Yeah. Let's put on some music. <laughs> 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 all the, note, all the notes start coming out. Yeah. How do you extract the lyrics out of a song? <laughs> <laughs>
that I'll be impressed. Uh, it's like a resolution. Yeah, it's a gift. Yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty impressed. Yeah. Yeah. So it just tells you stuff. Like some of the it tells you a, a tribute to the firm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Not much there. Not much there. Not much to go on. Well, that ain't less pipes to get a less file. Well, the, the previous one was a less file. He was comparing them. You typed in a lot of things. Try Zappa. It's a JPEG. Yeah. Resolution. I've got stats on the JPEG, but... Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's a bummer. All right. Well, I'm going to type in less, less miles instead of less miles. All right. One last one. Okay. They could have good one, eh? Make another good one. That has been some that good That was ones. a good one. <laughs> yeah, that was. Shouldn't... Feud would have stopped. 16 things. 6. Well, I think we're going to learn about that one in November. Does a ping over IPv6 and 7? Low, low key. Well, that was low key. Oh, you got it on automatic? <laughs> yeah, I guess I had a problem. A bug flying and get stuck yeah, in the ground. Good time yeah. to quit. <laughs> load keys. Anybody want to talk, take load keys? Then, like your default set of I keys? Yeah, so you reset. Just for uh, remapping your key map, your, yeah. your, uh, your keyboard. Alright, <laughs> okay. translation yeah. tables so you can. Do goofy things with your keyboard, you can mess people up. So well, it's also good if you're used to a different emulator. You know, well, if you for keys. So if you're used, so if you're used, oh, okay. so if you're used to a different emulator, it's good to bring in that set of keys. Yeah. So I use TSO, and then I go to Linux, and right. it's like, oh my god, I don't know yeah. where my keys are. <laughs> TSO. Can you use it if you're used to using TSO? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, big time. All right, I think we're done.